He's so terrible. He's so terrible. He's so terrible. No! Don't run away. <laughs> don't run away from me. The next day. Hmm. Oh. Seems like nothing changed. Morning, sleepyhead. Oh. Hi, Arizu. <laughs> You'll never guess what. What? I'm gonna start working at a hairdresser's shop. Oh, really? Really? Now you'll be able to try out my own original hairstyles. Isn't that super exciting? Ooh, I want to see those. Oh, I'm still going to be Lilligan's Warden and now. I'll be burning the candle at both ends, but I can make it work. Don't you worry. <laughs> anyway, come over to the hairdresser when you, when you can, Zarn. I'll give you a killer hairstyle. I am pleased that you have found a worthy successor for your establishment, Edith. Mr. Kamado, sir, uh, so about the whole Ursulana situation. If you are to work here in Jubilee Village, you are family to us. No matter who you are, or where you're from. Welcome, Adizu. And you, Zorn. Yes, you will come with me. To Prelude Beach. Huh? Why? Whoa, what's with that sinister... Whoa, what's going on? What's going on? These people just arrived here in Hisui. They will live together with us in Jubilee Village. What's going on? When we of the Galaxy Team first arrived on this land, we came ashore to Prelude Beach. It is where everything began. This is where a new life for all of you will begin as well. We heard that the Hisui region is inhabited by many powerful and frightening Pokemon. But we also heard the Galaxy Team knows a great deal about Pokemon and uses their mysterious powers to help Jubilee Village grow. Indeed, you have both heard correctly. And the reason such tales have reached your ears is largely thanks to Zorn here, one of our Survey Corp recruits. Though the combined efforts of all our team members, let us continue to develop our village and thrive here in the Isui region. We look forward to her doing our part, Commander. Huh. So new people from the other continent? Wow. The advancement of our understanding of Pokemon, thanks to the Survey Corps, has expanded the areas where we can operate safely. That is what allows us to welcome in newcomers like them. Zorn, you truly do love Pokemon, don't you? I do! Yes, I do! I love my Hoodle, I love my Luxray, and I love all these cute, adorable Pokemon! I do! Hmm. Pokemon have done grave injury to many of our fellows on the Galaxy team. And yet you still find love for these creatures in your heart. I suppose that is a necessary quality for one in the Survey Corps. Remember this though. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It is imperative that we study them and learn all that we can about them, whether we wish to live alongside them or not. Uh, uh. And be warned, as the leader of the Galaxy Team, I am prepared to make harsh decisions in order to protect Jubilee Village. Commander, Irida the Proclans arrived. Good, I believe I know what she's here about. As for you, Zorin. You should see yourself how Jubilee Village is changing thanks to the Survey Corps efforts. Then you will come to my office. Yes, sir. I don't know if Commander Komodo is a good guy or not anymore. Is he a good guy or a bad guy? Because throughout this whole journey, we have been told Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It just keeps coming and coming and coming. It's leading up to something, but what? It seems... It's so mysterious. I don't know what's going on. Because he says he's willing to do the harshest decisions, 
But then I'm like, oh no. That means he's gonna do something cool to us, isn't he? <laughs> Arizu. Hi, Arizu! Yes, I'm, I Yes, I wanna try. I wanna try. I wanna see your hairstyles. Let's see your hairstyles. Grab yourself a seat. Curled. Side part. Ooh, that's a nice one. Curled. Ooh, that's a nice one. Oh, but these hair colors, though. Oh, wow. These hair colors are vibrant. I like it. You know, actually, I kind of prefer this one. Because I do have long hair, but it's not long as this. So, I'll stick with this. I'll stick with this. <laughs> Thanks for trimming the uh, hair, hair ends. And we're done. Not a bad look, wouldn't you say? Thanks for coming. Those are nice hairstyles, though. Those are nice hairstyles. Snorlax, Sylveon, Lilikiliki, Lili Lili whatever that shell thing is, and Abbott. Or Kadabra? Ooh, 14,000. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, I have it. Oh my god, just enough. Holy crap, just enough. That is a miracle right there. On point. Alright, I got a promotion. Promotion, promotion. You go get the village to get a promotion. 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 Whoa. Is my eyes deceiving me? Hold on. When the heck... When the heck did this come? When the hell was... Oh. I get it now. Yeah, it's done. Oh. Also, the music... The music is... The music playing is different. Whoa. Ooh, hello there. The music playing is different. It's different. I'm impressed. I am impressed. I love this. Ah, oh, th this is awesome music now playing. I need to get this version of music once the villagers come in for the episodes. I really gotta get this version of the music. There's one. There's one. Huh. I'm pretty sure there's one at the back. Yeah. <laughs> game designing, baby. Game designing. That's what you should do with game designing. Always think what the, the designers were, are thinking. The level designers. Because that's how you find secrets. Not unintentional secrets, which is the which is the Skyrim horse scene. That that is unintentional tricks. I think. Hopefully, hopefully. But if Game Freak knows about the Skyrim horse scene, <laughs> I I get I, I I respect them even more for knowing Skyrim horse scene. God, this music. Oh, I just love that. The more people come in, oh my god, it's literally like. Oh my god, what is that game? There was a game where if your town like gets expanded more, the music just increases and gets more better and more lively. Oh my god. So I was told about these wisps. I was told about these wisps that they are a means of getting a particular Pokemon that is a Garatina. <laughs> I thought it was Garatina. To be honest, because I was expecting Garatina to be in this game. Because this game is such a delight. Everyone is enjoying it. Like, I like I love that people are enjoying this game. And I love that I'm enjoying it as well. It's so fun and it has that nice charm. Including that you can put out your Pokemon. Oh, and... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I knew it. The last wisp. The last wisp of the village. Okay. But yeah, speaking of Pokemon... I got I got a lot of Pokemon, and so I really want to bring them out. But I need to go to the pastures to get a few Pokemon that I really want to play with. Five minutes later. Sorry, I was taking a while. But yeah, here are the here is the team that we have so far. First one, Hoodle. Second, Luxray. Third one, Lopunny. Oh my god, you're huge. She is huge. And then fourth one, Rapidash. Whoa, look at how big Rapidash is. Alright. Fifth one, Snorlax. Look at that, Snorlax. 
And the last one, Haunter. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, hey, little bunny. <laughs> god dang, so huge these Pokemon. My god, I love it. I love it. You love the team, Hudo? Yeah, you're hyped up, yeah? <laughs> is is Lil Pony okay? <laughs> Starlax, you, you gonna sleep? You gonna sleep? You gonna sleep, Starlax? Hey, yeah, what you bitch at me for? What'd you bitch at me for? Huh? Huh? And Rapidash, my god. If only I could ride you. Jesus Christ. You are huge. Oh, oh. Oh, what is that? Fancy buying a sweet treat? Ooh. Interesting candy. What? I can buy XP candy? Oh, that's awesome. Your progress and yourself. Star. Six star for today's episode. Hi, Commander Kamado. I commend you on your successful research in a Pokemon living in the Crimson Mirelands. Your next orders are to begin the survey of the Cobalt Coastlands. Yes, the Cobalt Coastlands. Nice. I will let you know in advance. There are no Pokemon nobles on the Cobalt Coastlands. Really? Allow me to explain. What's going on then? We did have a lord in the Coastlands until a few years ago. He tragedy took him from us. What? Oh. Now, we had reports of people seeing strange shadowy figures on the island the lord used to call his home. We have also received word from both the security corps and supply corps. It seems some of their members were attacked by a ghost while out gathering materials out Firespit Island. Firespit Island? These are serious concerns, and moreover, my clan cannot tolerate the discretion of our late lord's seat. Holy crap. Their noble Pokemon passed away? Who are we fighting for the third boss? Because there's five bosses overall, and probably extra more. And if Coastland's the third, where the heck is the third boss and where are we gonna get the plate too we need the plates hold on hold on hold on my dog Growlithe is growling all again not growling but barking stupidly I'll be back I'll be back there you go wow. <laughs> if you're watching this episode what are you eating comment down below <laughs> Paul, that is actually a good comment. Irida and Adamant are arguing about time and space. Zarn walks up. So have you heard of our Lord and Savior Arceus? <laughs> I gotta... I need someone to draw that. I need someone to draw that. The best comment of the situation. <laughs> it's literally that in a nutshell. Uh, let's restart this conversation again, shall we? Normally I'd entrust this to our warden in the coastlands, but her situation is... Complicated. Oh. I entrust my intentions are clear by now. I hereby order you to investigate these reports. Yes, sir. The Lordless Island. I will meet you in the Cobalt Coastlands. I do love it there. It's a beautiful area. Oh, and I know this must be a bewildering situation to be dropped into. I'm sorry, Zarn. It's alright. I plan on doing any anything for you guys to, you know, bond together. Come on. We must all share Hisui. Think nothing of it. Zorin is a talented and hardworking member of the Galaxy team. I'm sure he will sort things out. Indeed, Zorin quelled the Lord of the Woods. I've seen both his strength and his kindness firsthand. Kindness? What I remember, clearly remember, I me threatening you if you hurt Hoodle. Got a battle again? I don't like my Hoodle getting hurt. I will hurt you if you're gonna hurt him! The next area for you to investigate will be Cobalt Coastlands. It is farther afield than the Crimson Mirelands, much farther, and the path is long and trying. With your current rank, you should be capable of braving the Cobalt Coastlands. Heck yeah, I'm 6 star baby! And I'm going for that commando rank right there. Alright, I'm gonna increase my uh, pouch size by like 2 times I think. Teach me... Mm -hmm. Just two times because you are getting expensive AF and it's starting to annoy the hell out of me. Also, can you sell anything more? Or do you have the same shit? 
Oh, you do have the same shit. You need to expand more, dude. Oh, yeah. Uh, speaking of crafting stuff, I got this. The star piece crafting, crafting recipe. Because I finally know what the shards do. It's to create the star piece, which you can sell for a lot. A lot and a lot of money. Not exaggerate. I, I mean, I could be just exaggerating. We'll see. Uh, star piece. Let's see. There's gold. Oh! 20,000 right there. 20,000 right there. And we get 15,000 right there. Easy. Easy sell, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. 70,000. Oh! I love it. Ah, if it isn't Zorin. Oh, Leon! Hey, it's been a while, dude! Though I suppose it's to be expected that I ran into you in a village. Where are you going to study Pokemon next? Cobalt Coastlands, or technically Firespit Island. Technically. Oh, Firespit Island. Perhaps you'll run into our Paulina. She's in a bit of a situation over there. She's a warden, and yet she has no noble to see to. There are even some people in the Pearl Clan that speak ill of her, though not to her face. Ah, oh, what happened? Oh, but do forgive me. Perhaps I shouldn't be airing dirty laundry. A piece of advice then, as an apology for wasting your time. Some Pokemon are strongly affected by certain stones, which hold mysterious powers. With the right stone, you can evolve some Pokemon. You need to look no further than Clever for proof of that. Hmm? What I'm trying to say is, is basically this. If you and a survey course want to learn all there is to know about Pokemon of this region, then the stones you find throughout Hisui will be very important. Are you talking about the plates as well? <laughs> Literally! There's even a tale of a stone that contains the power of creation. The very same power Almighty Sinnoh used to create the universe. The plates. Oh, the plates. This is Infinity War. This is Endgame. <laughs> this is Endgame. <laughs> Alright, let's head to Cobalt Coastlands. How does it look? Whoa. You know, if it was sunset, this would have been beautiful. Cobalt Coastlands. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, we gotta get a water Pokemon here. Water Noble. Ah, the Cobalt Coastlands. A simply lovely corner of Hisui. Sea and sky as far as the eye can see. What kinds of Pokemon await us here, I wonder? Water types? Or flying types, perhaps? Ooh, I just can't, simply can't wait to study them all. <laughs> now, I'm sure you're just excited as I am to research this area's Pokemon. But let's not forget you've got a mission to accomplish. So any questions before you get started? Uh, about that warden. Paulina, correct? Here in the Cobalt Coastlands, you'll find Paulina of the Pearl Clan and Isken of the Di Diamond Clan. Perhaps they'll be as some help to you as you dig into those curious occurrences. <sighs> oh, there she is! Oh, and also I see that there, I'm gonna grab it while horse Skyrim horsing. Whee! Whee! Come on, Skyrim horse, baby, come on. Ah, fine. Fine. Oh? Oh. What's she calling to? Was that the tune of the noble that passed away? I do love the flute. It feels as if its tones carry to the very ends of space. But I am here, and so you are you. So now I'm going to focus on everything I have on battling you. Why? I need to understand my weakness. Please do this for me. Why? I Oh my god, I have to. <laughs> it's forced! This is. Th this is unconsensual! <laughs> this is. What the fuck? You do not have my consent? What, what the f. Fine! Fine! Bring out your three Pokemon! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Dun, dun. What the heck? I'm um, what's with the Eevee? 
Oh, you're bringing both of them out? Oh, that's, that's, that's scummy. That's scummy right there. That's, that's very scummy of you. <laughs> Triple arrows! Fire! <laughs> oh, you survived. Wow, impressive. Agile style. Uh-oh. Weak. Ha, <laughs> ha, Pathetic. <laughs> Pathetic. Actually, focus on that Eevee. Trip arrows. Let's do this, shall we? Oh, you what? Oh, 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 okay. Okay, let's fight. Fire. <laughs> you did touch my Huda? You touch my boy? You touch my boy? <sighs> now I feel better. You feel better knowing that your your Pokemon like got beaten into a pulp? What? That that doesn't what? All right, with you, I think you with you, I can be frank. I can't afford to look weak in front of the Diamond Clan members or your commander. But in truth, I sometimes wonder how I ended up with the burdens I bear. You see, we have a warden in the coastlands. A lovely woman called Paulina. Uh-huh. But she tends to no lord or lady. And she will not raise a successor to fill the late lord's empty seat either. Some people have started to question her worthlessness. Oh, worthlessness. Well, that's bad. Bad word. I... Some people have started to question her worthiness to be a warden at all. But Lina, that is to say, Paulina, she's very dear to me. No matter what anyone might say. We were both in the running to become leader of the Pearl Clan. We strove to surpass one another. But she taught me a great deal too. Having said all this, I have a favor to ask of you. Please help her raise the Pokemon she looks after into her true heir of it to his father, the late Lord. Oh... This is the uh, this is literally the passing on the torch scenario then. Okay, okay. I'm willing to help with that. With the help of your strength, I think our late lord's heir would grow into a worthy successor. If if he succeeds, he should silence Lena's naysayers. I don't know of anyone I trust more to help with this than the person who helped the Pearl Clan by quelling Clever's frenzy. You'll be able to find Lena up at the head headland. Head down this hill and turn left. You should find a slope leading up to that ridge. All right. So this is the passing on the torch since the more recent lord that has the title passed away, which is pretty darn dark. Not that many Pokemon games, yeah, not that many Pokemon games or Pokemon enemies delve more into the passing of a Pokemon or a person. They rarely go into that. Of course you want to bring in the more younger fans, but at the same time, don't forget about the Pokemon, like, trainers that played the old games. At this point, they've all grown up. They either have forgotten Pokemon or didn't love Pokemon, and there's still people who love Pokemon and are willing to play, keep on playing Pokemon no matter what. It needs to have these human emotions as well, and not focus too much on Pokemon. But if it, if it involves too much Pokemon, have some human connection between the Pokemon as well, as a part of that. And that's how you make a what the fuck. <laughs> and that's how you make a really well game. And I hope Game Freak spends four years making a perfect game. A game that would surpass this even. Go get it! <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna be spending the time to like farm all these new Pokemon. And then I'll just show you guys the highlights because there's a lot of dialogue in this game that needs to be explored, so. Is there any lost satchels here? Oh yeah. Chaos, Max, and Max's satchel. Annie's, oh boy. Capture? Yay, capture, all right. What the heck? Am I out of space already? Oh right, that's why, that's right. Thunderstone, when the heck did I get a Thunderstone and a Firestone? Ay yeah 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 Get oh, I got it! 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 
I got it. I got God aim. God aim. No one can beat my God aim. Oh. Yeet. Oh, first try. AP bomb. Wow. Level 50. Holy crap, that's tempting to keep. Hey. Hey, AP bomb. Hi. Shoot me. <laughs> what is this AP bomb doing? Alright. Hi. You're adorable! Sweel, you're so adorable. I saw you in Pokemon Snap. You're rolling like a ball. You're adorable. And you're so adorable. So adorable. It's so adorable. You're so adorable. You're so adorable. You're so adorable. No! Don't run away. <laughs> Don't run away from me. Feel. Can you? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, that's so adorable. These feels are adorable. Again, goodness sake, these fucking these butterflies, man, they piss me off. No, no. Since since that since that Mothman pissed me off, use fire blast, strong style on that thing. Burn it to a crisp. Yes. Yes. You really think that's gonna be effective, Burmy? Do it! Do it! Oh! <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> oh my god, that is ridiculous. Fine, I'll use a lead ball on you. If it doesn't capture you, it will kill you with the heaviness of it. Point fucking. Alright, then. Snorlax! Yoink! Oh, um. Um. Okay? That's not what I meant, Snorlax. <laughs> Just because he's fat, don't don't underestimate don't underestimate him. You stupid mothums. I hate these mothums. Flamethrower! Burn it! <laughs> he's part dragon. He's part dragon like me. That's how he can breathe fire. <laughs> What, another Mothum? What the f- Oh my fucking god. Give me a fucking break. You pretentious douchebags. Ah, oh, I'm already losing my edge because of how stupid they are. If I just stand still, he will not chase me. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's the smallest Machoke ever, dude. That is the smallest Machoke ever. That is a small ass Machoke. Holy crap, that's ridiculous. <laughs> that was so small. Psychic. Oh, yeah. Snorlax. Uh, Snorlax, the irony is that you know Psychic, so you can beat them up. <laughs> that's that's kind of ironic. Zen Headbutt. Strong style. Oh! That was more of a headbutt. That was a body slam. Headbutt again. Or body slam. Boom! <laughs> Did it detect me yet, or...? Hi. Did it detect me yet? I'm, I'm curious. <laughs> oh, it's stunned! Oh, 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 perfect opportunity, perfect opportunity! You had one job. Just the one! Oh my god, I screwed it up. Uh, I screwed it up! Oh, there's parrots and there's a ship here. Ooh. What is this ship? This ship is interesting. Oh. <laughs> I already made it. <laughs> looks, looks ready. <laughs> Look at that spiel trying to steal it. <laughs> you adorable. You're so adorable, you know that? Outrage. Whoo! Wow. Dragon. Whoo! You are a dragon. You are certainly a dragon, Snorlax. Wow. Impressive. Wow. 
Wow, that's a, yeah, that's an interesting cutscene. Yeah. <laughs> That's very interesting. Gengar, use all of it. Alright, so everyone is at above 40 to 45 for their level, and they can withstand the rest of the coasts, the coast uh, area of, for the story. Oh, gotta be careful, gotta be careful around here. I gotta be careful. Oh god, that's a fat kitty! <laughs> that's a fat kitty! Out of my way! It's a Growlin! It's a Growlin! It's a Growlin! Hush now. Settle down. Oh! Paulina. I'm Paulina of the Pearl Clan. And who might you be? Ah, so you're that child from the Galaxy Team. Yeah. I heard how you aided Clevar and Lilligan when none other could quell their frenzy. Your strength must be amazing, and yet, you have such a gentle face. That's probably because I'm a child. So, what brings you to Cobalt Coastlands? We have no lord here, much less a frenzied one for you to quell. Our previous lord was swallowed by the waves. Swallowed by the waves? He was rescuing his young pup that had been swept out to sea and ended up giving his life to ensure that the pup's safe return. These pups are maybe these pups are safe now. If you were to guess, which of these Growlithe would you say is the previous large child? <laughs> Technically the big one. Technically the big one. The big one? That's what everyone says at first, but no. <laughs> oh wow! I'm impressed. The little one, the little guy, really. This quite skittish Growlithe is the child of the previous lord. <sighs> I have no doubt this little one has the potential to be a fine lord, but witnessing his father's demise has left deep scars on his heart. Oh, you cute poor little thing. There are those who expect me can train him more strictly and force lordship upon him before he is ready, but I could never bring myself to do that. It's hard. No matter what the rest of the Pearl Clan says, my mind is quite made up. I'll stay by this little one side and let him live his life as he wishes. So, now that you know our situation, might I ask your purpose in coming to the coastlands? Um... That's gonna be complicated? I'm here to help the air. Ah, did Irida ask you to intervene, perhaps? I appreciate the kind gesture, truly. But I'm afraid this matter simply does not concern you. So, now that you know our situation, I might ask- Oh! Okay, I then I might for Fire Spit Island. Okay. A survey of Fire Spit Island. I see. There are rumors of places haunted by strange shadows these days. You need to aid of a Pokemon known as Basculageon if you wish to cross the sea. Basculageon? Is that the fish? Is that the fish? You need to speak to Iskan, the Warden of the Diamond Clan. He should be able to help you. Where is he? There's definitely something strange happening out on Fire Spit Island. Those shadowy figures are concerning, of course. But then there's also odd lightning that came from that rift in the sky. Oh, of course. Of course. It's gonna be just a frenzied Pokemon, not a noble. Lightning is a sign that the heavens are angry. I worry that we may have offended Almighty Sinnoh somehow. In the past, the Pearl Clan and the Diamond Clan were locked in conflict over which side revered the true Almighty Sinnoh. Even if we reached an uneasy peace, the true Almighty Sinnoh must be angered because there are still those who worship a false image of it. There's no false image! You guys are worshipping the correct responding... You guys may not know, but you guys are worshipping the correct gods but the true almighty almighty sinnoh isn't just it isn't the almighty sinnoh of time neither space it's the almighty it's the almighty sinnoh of pokemon 
I, I digress. I do apologize. Isken lives in Ipom Hill, just past Gingyo Landing. I imagine you'll find, find him there. Ah, Ipom La Hill. I was just there getting Ipoms. Wow. Oh, Rallis, you want me to hang out with you more? No. Oh, that Rallis is so cute. That Rallis is so cute. Wow. Gorawa. Oh, I want a Growlithe. I want a Growlithe. Oh, Volo! Hey, Volo! Volo is most likely gonna ask me to, like, battle him again. <laughs> most likely. Hey, Volo! Hi! Why, hello there, Mrs. Zorin. Fancy running into you out of he out here. Me? Oh, I'm on a hunt for some plates. How's your plate hunting going, my young friend? No need to be humble. I see you've already got your hands on four plates. You gain plates when you quell frenzied nobles, and when a great Pokemon recognizes you as a worthy baron. Isn't that right? Yeah. The way you've been collecting those plates, it reminds me of the ancient hero. Ancient hero? It's again, again a reference of an ancient hero. Can someone describe the ancient hero history to me, please? The one, the one that's said to have battled against Almighty Sinnoh? The one who battled against? You know... I've been wondering. The ten Pokemon that are said to have followed the ancient hero, their powers are supposed to have come from the Almighty Sinnoh itself. Why would they seek to challenge the Almighty Sinnoh along with the hero then? Perhaps we'll get some answers once we gather all the plates? Huh. What would be the case of that? Well, let's both do our best to find more. But please, don't overexert yourself. I'd hate for something to happen for to one of our guild's most loyal customers. <laughs> Your sets are b uh, such a bargain. Alright, bye, Volo. Interesting, so the ancient hero and the ten noble Pokemon that were blessed by the almighty Sinnoh's power, power itself fought against almighty Sinnoh, which is Arceus? Alright. Free! Alright. Do, 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 do I have a visitor? I'll, I'll be out. Give me a moment. Um, <laughs> what type of person this person is? I, I'm curious. So, um, hi. I'm Isken of the Diamond Clan. The Galaxy member of the Celestial Flute? Oh, you must be Zorin, right. Uh, have I done something to warrant your visit? You seem depressed, dude. What's wrong? But yeah, I... I, I, yes, there's a reason. Well, sudden visits give me quite a shock. I do hope you'll give me advance notice in the future. Oh, well, you live in the middle of nowhere. Literally nowhere! So it's expected you get unexpected visitors. I need Basculagian's aid. That's a nice name, Basculagian. So you, you want to go to Firespit Island? Well, if you insist, then you'd probably need Basculin Jian's favorite snack. That should help him warm me up to you. But preparing his favorite... Oh, it's a more than a little difficult. Well, like an impossibly high hurdle. Or really just impossible, if I'm being honest. <laughs> you're studying a lot. You're kind of an interesting person if you're studying like that. How so? How so impossible is this? I'll tell you, I have the right materials, but... But then you... Well, you see, this next part is something I could never manage, but you need to catch this one Pokemon that appears at night. Which Pokemon? Come on, get to the details, dude. You, you really want to know? You really don't value your own life, do you? Huh? It's the... What? It's the... Oh my god. Is it Duskon? Dusclops? Who the heck is Dusclops? Oh, even saying its name fills me with dread. Dusclops. So, the materials for the food have to be imbued with flavor of Dusclops' dark pulse. That's the only way you can make Basculagian's favorite food, you see. I'll do that! I'll do just that! Wow, is everyone in the Galaxy team like you? Your nerves aren't just steel, they're titanium. D Duska, I can't say it. 
Well, the Pokemon I need has only one eye and can be found wandering around Deadwood Haunt. Deadwood Haunt? Ah, uh, Deadwood Haunt is the area that looks like a hand on your map. You'll know you're there when you find the wrecked boats. I was just there. It was sinister. It was like naked trees, no leaves. I try very hard to avoid those one-eyed Pokemon. And so now I know a lot about them, you see. But would you wait here until night when that Pokemon appears? I'll wait. Yeah, I'll wait. I got nothing else to do. I did everything I could beforehand. beforehand. Well then. And the story! The story-focused games like this is amazing. I always enjoy story focus like this. I just get into like voicing the stutterings and the dialogue they have. Okay. Oh, it's those guys! I've heard of these guys. I remember these. I, I remember these. Po I remember this Pokemon now. Alright, use hypnosis! Strong style! Nice, 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 nice. Nice, nice! Nice. Just go caught. Alright, let's head back. I got him! D did you bring it? You know, a Pokemon that name that sounds like Dust Bops. That, um, Dust Bops. I guess you don't have it with you. I. Oh, wait. Yeah. Dang it. I have to report it. I'll be back! Alright, here's Dusko. Here's Dusko. I thought you were scared of it. <laughs> Wait, this isn't the one? Wait, this isn't the one? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Why the heck am I so stupid? Why am I so stupid? This clops, not dust skull. Dust clops. Yeet! That's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. Yes! Dust clops. Alright, that's the one. Let's go. Whew. Iskin, we're here. Here's dust clops. You really brought it? No, no. Don't bring it out. Right. I guess, I guess I've got to do my part. See, now I'm determined you are to go to that island with Basculagian. Usually I ask Polina if the Growlithe she takes care of can help me with this bit. But this time, you need to help since, well, since we're making the snacks so that you will be accepted by Basculagian. Once I give the signal, you have the dust bops of yours use its dark pulse. Got it. It's friendly. No worries. Three. Two. Well, no, it's too friendly. <laughs> oh, Iskin, you're such a sweetheart. Iskin, you're such a sweetheart, man. Could you get a grip? Come on. Try again. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, Iskin. Right. So counting down to it just makes the anticipation terror worse. Let's simply have you do it when I say go. Yeah. Go! Fire! That's it? A delicious aroma rafts through the air. Basculagian's favorite snack is now ready. What does Dark Pulse even do to the food? Huh? How, what does it... What does it actually do? You obtain a bowl of Basculagian food. Basculagian food. Both an aroma and a shape are... Perfect. It's the perfect bowl for Basculagian food. Then let us make for Ginkyo Landing. We can summon Basculagian there. Hello, Iskin. Oh, Paulina's here. Oh, oh Paulina! I, I thought you sh said we shouldn't be seen together. I'm sure Zorin can keep a secret. Ah, I see. Rawr. I see. Rawr. I see what's going on. I I approve. I approve still. Besides, both I and the Growlithe pups were eager to meet the great Basculagian again. I see. 
Well, in that case, let me summon Basquiatian. Where's Basket of Gian? Huh? Whoa! How huge is it? Whoa! Shra! Go on, Zorn. You give the food to Basket of Gian now. You threw the ball at Basket of Gian food. <laughs> oh! Shra! The great basculate gene. Oh, thank goodness. I was a little worried about whether basculate gene would accept this favor. So, Zorin, you should let basculate gene hear your plane. Mm hmm. I wonder though. I'm pretty sure it's a water type, yeah? Water plate? Here we go. Splash plate. Yep, splash plate. Nice. Now you can ride Basket of Gene across Tranquility Cove and head to Fire Spit Island. Growl! <laughs> You're so terrible! Congratulations to you, Zarin. Wow. Paulina, do you want to tell him? You guys! I mentioned to you how the previous lord rescued his Growlithe pup. During that incident, Iskin and Basco Jian saved my life as well. Since then, I felt a great deal of affection for Iskin here. I truly adore him. Ah! <laughs> but I know that there are those who speak ill of me behind my back. So I try to meet Iskin where there are no prying eyes to preserve his reputation. Ah! Well. I was just doing what any decent person would do when I saved you. Perhaps, but nonetheless, after that day I found the strength to accept Garleth as he is and not force him to become the next lord. And it was all thanks to the courage you showed me, Eskin. Ah. Ah. Perhaps we should save this discussion for another time after all. <laughs> Rao. <Rah. laughs> Ah, uh, sweet love. Oh god. These three again? These three again? I bring good luck to my sister wherever I go, and all luck to anyone who crosses our paths. I am the eldest, and I'll be our unlucky charm. Thought you spotted a four-leaf clover? Well, I'll soon have you seen double. I'm the middle sister. I'm one clover you can't pick, yada yada yada. It's the Misfortune Sisters! We're the Misfortune Sisters! Known across the friggin'. Friggin'. <laughs> Known across the friggin' land! We're the Misfortune Sisters! Known across the frigid land of Hisui, and your luck's just run out. Now get ready to hand over that Growlithe! Oh, hell no! You wanna take. my partner? If your aim is to pass to us with bad jokes, those ridiculous introduction of yours were more than enough. Yes, exactly what she said. No, Gengar. Oh, hell no, don't you dare touch him! Bro? No! You mother... F they, took the, they took the big brother! Thanks for the Growlithe, fools! We three can't live the kind of lives we want because of narrow-minded groups like... The Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. I will kill you. I will kill you. Don't you dare mess with that Growlithe. If we want to live freely in the Great Land of Hisui, we need to have powerful Pokemon on our side. Don't worry. We'll make sure this pup grows up nice and strong. We'll even make him a lord for you. Oh, hell no. Next, take the mutt to our camp and get to work. No one will bother us in a place so miserably hot. Oh, hell no. I just got a Gengar. These bastards. What? No! Growlithe! <laughs> oh, bastards. What should we do, Zorin? This is an emergency, right? 
But, uh, I see, I've never, I never actually had a partner battle before. Please, Zarin, I beg you, help us. That Garlis is very, very dear Pokemon to me. Please save him. Of course. They said they were going to a place where no one would, could bother them. The only place about the Cobalt Fa Coastlands that seems suitable is Firespit Island. Oh, now that you have Basculagian to help you across the water, you can reach the island too. Please, could you find it in you to help Paulina? Of course. Thank you, thank you. You're so kind. We'll make our way to Firespit Island as well. No, Paulina. You should wait here and keep little Garlet safe. I'm sure he needs you right now. Mm-hmm. Though, I'm not sure if I want to go to that island with lightning and bandits and... No, come, Zarin. No thing, time to think. We must go now. Ah, right there. Oh, let's go, Basculagian. Whee! <laughs> Quick change. Yep, that's their boat. Where, where are those... Where are those three freaks? Whew, fire spit island. It's certainly hot enough to fuel like a sweat bath, isn't it? And now we got a ghost bed to deal with on top of the heat. I'm very sorry, but do you think you could lead the way? <sighs> Alright. That poor Growlithe. I don't dare imagine what those banners are doing to him now. Oh my god. Oh, man, that Growlithe has been through so much, man. Yeah, my my Pokemon are overpowered right now. <laughs> I'm just gonna spree through. Even though I risk my life on the Slava here. Okay, there it is. Come on, evolve already! We've done our homework. Any Pokemon gutsy enough to come to this lava trap is supposed to evolve. So get on with it already. These guys are idiots. You will become stronger, like it or not. I will... I will wreck you three. Hey! Oh, look. The pest again. Oh, I will... I will exterminate you pests. Stand back, sisters. I'll take over of him. Go, Obama Snow. Smash this fool to pieces. Alright. Bennett Clover. I dealt with coin. Now Clover. Go, Hoodle! Hoodle? Use triple arrows. Strong style. Fire! <laughs> Is this all you got, Clover? I don't get it. How'd I lose? Ah, oh, these pricks. You know, Obama Snow can fight at full power in crazy heat like this. It wasn't a fair battle. And yet, you still use Gengar to steal a Pokemon, and you don't count that as fair and not wrong at all. I love the salt I'm getting. I love the salt I'm getting right now. In fact, how dare you make my poor Obama Snow battle in such a stupidly hot place? It's your fault for being over here! You're the one who sent out Obama Snow, sister. Go on then, Toxic Crow. Pour out some poison for an unwelcome guest. Alright. Back into it. Bandit Coin challenge you to battle. <laughs> toxic Crow, alright. Go, Hudo! See you, Spikes! Poison Jab. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, that that spike. I love that spike. What a blithering moon calf I am. How could I let myself lose? I guess I lose the coin toss sometimes. I did warn you, didn't I? That I had a score to settle with Galaxy Team. All the pain and suffering I experienced after coming up here from the Kanto region to work, I'm going to make you pay for every last slight. Hey, alright then. Bandit Charm challenge you to battle. Right on. <laughs> Let's go, Hoodle. Hoodle, use Leaf Blade. Strong style. Yeah. <laughs> ah. 
That is just worthless. Gengar, alright. Venoshock. Oh! Buddha! Come back. It's okay. I'm gonna send out my Snorlax and body slam it. Go, Snorlax! And it doesn't even look at that. Oh, Gengar. Any last words? Any last words? How about you, Charm? Any last words for your Gengar? Finish it off! <laughs> uh, that's what you get, Charm. That's what you get. What a disgrace. The only, the only thing I want to know is... Why? What happened to you, Charm? How... How could all of us have been... Hey, Charm! I'll heal the bomb of snow and coins Toxicro. We're good as new. Now keep battling until we run out of potions. Wow. Wow, these insistent little pricks. Goodness sake, you guys. Enough. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bow. How, how did you get here? What? Hey, no one invited you, Tiny. You really going to insist on getting away, you little runt? Don't you dare kick him, I swear to god, if you kick him. I'll go John Wick on your ass. Take him down, Toxicro. <gasps> I know it's hot, but hang in there, Bomber Snow. Smash that runt. <gasps> Growlithe, please stop. You cannot beat such foes. Paulina, what are you doing here? I thought you were waiting with little Growlithe. I was, but he jumped into the ocean without warning and swam... He swam all the way here? Into the ocean? But he was terrified of the ocean after it swallowed up the former lord, his own father. Bro. Oh, Growlithe. Arrow. Huh? What was that? Oh, wow! What? Oh! oh he's evolving! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Little fate late, large child, he evolved! His true bravery lay not by crossing the sea, but in finding the strength to face hardship head on. You gotta be joking me! Why the puny one evolve? Uh, sisters? That's not right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. Is that? Oh no. Oh no. What? Paulina, stay back! Arrow! What's What's happened to him? That strange lightning hit him. He's become frenzied, just like the other nobles. Oh, this is exactly why I didn't want to come to the island. Uh oh. Ugh. Everything was going as just as we wanted before. That awful mutt ruined everything. We won't be making any living without our lives. Smoke bomb? Hmm? Yeah, of course you're running away, you little pricks. Hey, wait! This is all your fault! We should get out of here too, Paulina. Otherwise, we're fair game for Arcanine. Come on, Zorin. We should hurry! Oh no. Lena! Irida! What are you going to do about Growlithe? I mean, Arcanine! You saw all that? A dear little Pokemon is my responsibility. It is my duty to protect him with everything I have. Zarin, what must we do to quell his frenzy? Please tell us what we need. What's his favorite foods? We need to make some bombs. Mm-hmm. 
Bombs. Irida, what are you talking about? I'm the leader of our clan. Is it surprising that I know a little more of these things than you, Lena? I held my tongue the first time, but now I must insist. Stop calling me Lena in front of everyone. And yes, I'm well aware you are a leader, Irida. How could I forget that you were the one chosen? You, who can use our Celestica Flute to summon Pokemon and have them carry you to even the farthest reaches of Vasasui. I've learned a little about these frenzies as well. There's a special method for dealing with them. We can make bombs, pouches containing a mix of Lord's favorite foods, and throw them from a safe distance. Isn't that right, Zern? Mm-hmm. Of course. Well, uh, in that case, I do always carry some Growlithe's favorite foods with me, so I can thank him when he uses his flames up to carry prepare Vasculogian's favorite meal. Ah, yeah! Why, Esken, once again your thoughtfulness saved the day. Now we can make those bombs right away. Yes, let's get right to work. <sighs> Alright, they're ready. Here are the bombs we need. Please let me know when you're feel, feel prepared to try quell Lord Arcanine's frenzy. Oh my god, that Arcanine is so beautiful. I need to save, I need to save, <laughs> I need to save. Oh, oh Hudo died, yeah. Hudo fainted. Not died, not died. That'd be messed up if it, he died. Yes, I'm ready. Zern, please do your utmost to save my dear Arcanine. He maybe have finally became a lord, but it's clear that this frenzy is causing him to suffer greatly. Be on your guard. The late Lord Arcanine would launch devastating attacks after standing still and gathering light around himself. Remember that while you're dodging. Moves will slip right by you. Good luck. <sighs> okay. I can do this. Hello, Arcanine. Hi. You're so... Oh, that's badass. Lord of the Isles. Arcanine. Oh my god. Oh my god. I got love of the... Be careful. Oh, this is gonna be hard. This is gonna be hard. You're good. You're good, Arcanine. Woo! Okay. Okay. You're good, Arcanine. You're good, Arcanine. Oh. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Oh! Holy crap! Uh oh, oh, oh. Oh, this one's difficult. This one's difficult. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, man, I gotta be careful. Oh, I gotta be super careful. Oh! Oh, come on, come on. Oh, my God. There we go, there we go. I'm sending you in. Let's go! Look at these two beasts fighting it out. Use Thunderfang, Lex, right? Okay, nice paralyzed, awesome. <laughs> yes, paralyzed. Awesome, awesome, good work, good work. Shang style. Nice, 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 nice. Good job, Luxray. Good luck. Good job, good job, good job, good job. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, wow. Wow. Admit defeat? Hell no. Continue battle. Oh, God. Oh, that was so sudden. Okay, okay. He does it in the middle. I get it. Okay. He does that in the middle. I gotta get out of the middle when he does that. Stay at the edge. Stay at the edge. Got it. Throw. Throw. There you go. Awesome, awesome. Crunch! Strong style! Awesome, okay. Raging Fury. Oh, void attack, nice, good job. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Thunder Fang! Strong style! Awesome, okay. Good work, Luxray. He's gonna fire it. He's gonna launch himself at the middle. Sure. 
Oh god, yeah, that's gotten bigger. This is so claustrophobic, man. This is so claustrophobic, man. This is not cool. Oh god. Oh my god. You're getting too close to Oh my goodness. There we go. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. Last one. You're free, Arcanine. <sighs> oh, look at that. It's so gorgeous. Oh, look. The strange light has left Arcanine and vanishing into the space time rift. Oh, for a second, I thought Isken was talking. <laughs> Hello, Arcanine. A flame plate, yes. What could possibly lie in the other side of that rift, I wonder? Grim? Oh. Huh? What? Was that two different Arcanine cries just now? Now I understand, my little Growlithe. Oh, no, I misspoke. Lord of the Isles, Arcanine. You and I must live apart so that we may attend to our separate duties. Oh, oh. No, no, I will be well. You're strong, far stronger than me, in fact. Wow. Oh, Growlithe. From now on. Let us strive to fulfill our duties as Lord and Warden. Now go, Lord Arcanine. Your realm awaits. Go! Oh, God. And Arcanine is a... It's so beautiful. Um, was I the only one who felt like they heard the cry of the previous Lord Arcanine earlier? Oh, how odd. I certainly didn't. Please, I do hope you're joking. I'm easily scared as it is. What am I to do if I start hearing the cries of ghosts all the time? No need to worry, Eskin. I only kid. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> oh, we all have those types that just tends to screw us over <laughs> mentally. I also heard the voice of the previous lord calling out to us. It seems I wasn't the one only one watching over his young pup this whole time. So that's a shadowy figure. It was a father. Zarin, you have my heartfelt thanks for helping my dear little one, the new Lord Arcanine. I'm sorry to ask even more of you, but please, look after Irida as well. Yep. Yeah. Irida and Adaman I will look after. After all. Now then, Iskin, I believe we'd best be off. Mm hmm. <sighs> Finally. Zarin. I wasn't much use with just watching from the side, was I? You know, when Lena wouldn't raise Gralith to be the new lord, and people in our clan were doubting her fitness as a warden, I urged her to put Gralith to the proper training, but she snapped at me. Oh, this poor Pokemon saw his own father die, she told me. It is a warden's duty to force a child in such pain through that training? Those words left me with much to consider. And even when Arcanine became Lord of the Isles and grew frenzied, all I could do was watch. That's not true. What about the bombs? Please. All I did was arrive late and help explain about the bombs, something you could have done without me. Is that so praiseworthy? Do I deserve to be recognized for such slight contribution? Yeah! Any contribution is a contribution that must be respected at all costs. I took on leadership of the Pearl Clan so young, with no grand vision for what it should be. Still, I tried to respect our old customs and sites, 
even as some called it old-fashioned for it. But watching you, I finally see it. I know what I must do. I want to protect this vast land of Hisui. Grant me another battle someday, Zarn. I want to battle alongside my partner so we can grow strong enough to be of help to you and to broaden the horizons of the world I see. Looks like I got Lena to thank for yet another lesson that I learned. I should let her know and hear more about her relationship with Warden Isken while I'm at it. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Here's where I part for now, Zarin. I need to get off this oven of an island. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Oh. Wow. And I need Arcanine. I need I need a Growlithe before I leave. I need a Growlithe. Either that or a hiss. Either that or a better Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? What is this unknown doing here? Ah. What is this unknown Ugh, I can't reach there. I had to fly up there. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. <sighs> Here's your shallows. Oh my, that's an alpha. I've heard that they've moves they've never really mastered. Mm hmm. Bowler, ugh. Warm cap. Ooh, warm cap. Ooh, I might need this for the snow area. Oh. <sighs> I might get this- I might get this for the snow region. Commander Kamado! Reporting for duty! You did well on your mission in Cobalt Coastlands. Your efforts there aided not only the Galaxy Team, but the Pearl Clan as well. I do hope your efforts will also have an impact on the space-time rift, somehow. If we are able to get rid of that rift, it should clear any lingering doubts about your origin. Though, how we might actually close the rift, I haven't the slightest idea. Yeah. <laughs> Remain true to the mission. The Lordless Island complete. Yep, Wallflower, of course. <laughs> I'm going to end the episodes like this already. If you notice that today's potato mochi tastes a bit different, well, that's because I used a Pokemon's flames to roast them. Bon appetit! Oh, he's using a Pokemon to cook as well. Oh, oh my God, they're, oh my God, they're get, they're getting more fun. Everyone's getting more fun with Pokemon. Oh, this is so awesome! The birth of a new Lord Pokemon. What a sight that must have been. If only I had journeyed to Firespit Island to witness the event myself. I have a hard time imagining you making a trip on Basco Gian's back, Professor. <laughs> Come on. Come now. You, you know my condition is so poor. I couldn't even hit my own foot with a Pokeball. And I can't even dodge Pokemon attacks to quite literally save my own skin. Of course I can't possibly ride atop a fearsome beast like Basculagean. That being said, we'd all do well to remember that these wise words, the ever strifing soul is rewarded in the end. A sh and strife I shall. For the sake of my research, I'll surely ride a Pokemon one day and record the experience of our Pokedex for all prosperity. Just you watch. <laughs> nom 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 nom. Please leave a like and subscribe and share this video and this channel to everyone. I'll greatly appreciate it. It will help me to get towards to that goal of 10,000 subscribers. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. <laughs>